Well, good evening, everybody. It's good to be with you again tonight. As we gather at the end of our days, um, I just want to tell you that uh, tonight we're talking about friendship and um, our best friend who is God. And so uh, as we gather as friends at a distance, uh, if you want to say hello in the chat to one another or add your comments or prayer requests, you are always welcome to do so. In the church, we have been looking at... Um, the stories of the people during the first kings and we've been reading through um, we've been in first Samuel and this week's readings talked a lot about the friendship between David and Jonathan and we hear um, things like hi Diane we hear things like David and Jonathan were one in spirit or Jonathan's soul was knitted to the soul of David. That's in 1 Samuel 18, verse 1. And we later get to hear about David's affection for his friend and, and commitment to his friend, Jonathan, um, that just really was, they were their lives were bound together, even though they weren't always living together. Um, they were separated because of all kinds of life circumstances. And one of the things that we noted in our Tuesday night classes that one of the things that they shared together was their faith. They each, Jonathan and David, each had this tremendous faith in God, that God had done good things for his people, that God was still doing good things, and that God would move on their behalf. We hear Jonathan uh, sought out to attack the Philistines, uh, going in the name of the Lord. And, and on Sunday, we talked about how David uh, attacked Goliath or, or approached Goliath in his challenge um, in the name of the Lord God Almighty. And so uh, tonight, I thought rather than read out of the first Samuel readings, I would read out of Psalm 145. And uh, Diane will know because, uh, well, no, I'm sorry. Um, we, we used Psalm 145 in our symphony. We went to the symphony nursing home this week and talked with them about it as well. And uh, it, it's just a powerful song of praise that was written by David. And so it gives us an idea of David's faith and tells this beautiful story of who God is. So let me read from Psalm 145. I will exalt you, my God and King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of your mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty, and I will meditate on your wonderful works. They will tell of the power of your awesome works, and I will proclaim your great deeds. They will celebrate your abundance, abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. Hear all the action that is happening as people praise God for who he is and what he's done. David continues, The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All you have made will praise you, O Lord. Your saints will extol you. They'll tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all men may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving toward all he has made. The Lord upholds all those who fall down and lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food at proper times. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. 
The Lord is righteous in all his ways, loving toward all he's made. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but the wicked he'll destroy. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. Can you hear David's heart for his Lord? So often David was alone. He was forced to leave um, his father. He was forced to leave Saul's house. Uh, he often was, was running in fear, felt alone. He was betrayed later by his own family and children. But David had this bond with God similar probably to the bond that he shared with Jonathan, where their souls were knit together. God offers that same relationship to each one of us. He longs to have that relationship with each of us, where our souls would be knitted to his soul, bonded to his soul forever and ever. He is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love. I know my love for God is not perfect. I, I fail him so many times. But our God is faithful to his promises. He's slow to anger and rich in love, always gracious, always compassionate, ready to satisfy the desires of those who delight in him. He is a friend who invests in us over and over and over again. He is a friend who will not abandon or forsake in us. He is a friend who will always walk with us, especially in the hardest and loneliest of times. So as we close our days together, may we too, be speaking of his glory, extolling and exalting him. May we be putting our trust in his gentle hands. We usually like to close our time with prayer together, and I don't see any prayer requests in the comments. Um, so let, let's pray. Lord, we do come to you in need of your friendship and your love and your compassion. Holy God, who are we that you would be mindful of us? And yet you demonstrate over and over again that you are. We don't always understand your ways. But we can trust in your love and that you are working for the good of all who believe in you. And so, Lord, I lift up those who are listening to the sound of my voice tonight. May they feel your comforting, loving presence. May they know of your healing in body and mind and spirit. May we hear your voice calling us to draw near to you. And may we hear your voice sending us out to share his love with others. We again pray for the He Stand family as they continue to grieve Terry's loss. And we pray for our own congregation and our neighbors in the community that have been so affected by his tragic death. Lord, comfort your people and lead us in the pathways of peace. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And we do echo Jayanne's prayer to pray for those that were in the collapsed building, for loved ones who 
are now dealing with all that has come after. Well, friends, I bid you good night, and we'll meet again next week in the same space. Peace.